Hey, Sol here. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on looping samples in the sampler module. Um, samples are very cool to work with, very fun. They're really high quality and uh, you know, uh, taking a sampler and loading in a sample and then passing it through all the uh, through different effects and things to really get your own sound. It, it's it's pretty good and it's it's good, you know, quick and easy to get a sound that you like. Um, so what uh, one common thing that I've been running into when working with them recently is uh, that samples don't always well they're not they're very rarely long enough for you to use so you usually have to loop them but it's kind of hard to loop them so we're going to be looking at we are going to be looking at two different uh, methods of looping samples in the sampler module so here's our test um, sampler first so that's a, um, a synthesized string kind of thing and it, it's it's pretty, uh, it sounds pretty good, but it's pretty easy to loop. You, you uh, load in the sample with the sampler, with the load button, then you click on edit. And so it brings up your sample editor menu, and so you have uh, different parameters you can set, you have different slots for your samples. Um, we're only gonna be using one for this example, and we have our, um, our base, our, um, I'm sorry, fine tune value, our base note, that's the note of the, uh, of the sample. So there's different little things, but mainly we're going to be looking at the loop section. And when you click on the loop se section, also the loop markers. So there's two ways that uh, you can loop. Well, three ways. You can cannot loop. <laughs> you can choose to not loop. You can loop. Um, you can say in one direction, or with pong, ping pong, you can loop forward, and then when it reaches the end, it'll loop back. So these are different methods to loop, and, and um, the pong method is good. It's good for certain uh, sounds that you want to loop that don't really loop very well in a in simple simply on loop mode uh, you know you, you it's easier to get a, a sound without clipping and so you'll hear the clipping when I play so here's what the sound uh, sounds like with no loop now with loop on and these uh, uh, loop ma loop markers at the ends this is what it sounds like you hear that little clip at the beginning that's something you want to avoid especially if you're using uh, chords because yeah, <laughs> the um, you know the sampler module and, and usually notes uh, usually other programs too they play different notes of the same sample by speeding up or slowing down the sample, and so the problem with that is that you end up with problems of you know if, if there's a clip on a normal note then the note that's higher runs faster and so ends sooner and so you hear the clip sooner and it's just you hear that little ticking, so you want to avoid that. Now, the easiest way to do this is to just manually set your loop markers uh, fairly simply. So you just use the middle mouse button to drag your, your sample around in the window. And you can use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out, or use the button here and the scroll wheel. So you see there's a little bit of silence here. You want to make sure that your loop begins after that, or clip out the silence if you want. You can do that by selecting uh, with the left mouse button and clicking and dragging. And then you can go to the uh, wrench menu, the wave editor menu, and then click cut, and it'll cut it out. And so it looks like uh, you have to reposition the loop markers. So you still hear that clipping, and that's because the wave at the end of the loop and the wave at the beginning of the loop are so wildly different that that's the sound that that ends up, that comes out. It's it's clipping because it's it's stuttering, you could say. So you want to make sure that it starts the loop ma marker um, starts the beginning loop marker, and the ending loop marker start and end at the same basically place on the waveform. So you want to just take note of where the middle line is and which direction the wave is going in, and try to match it as best as you can. So I'm clicking and dragging with the left mouse button the big red uh, mark you know squares here to to move the markers around. So that's pretty close. That's pretty good. Okay, now the next, uh, the other kind of of, of looping with the sampler is with sounds that aren't um, very 
synthesized that are kind of a little more organic, like this piano. It's pretty short, so let's go to a lower note so you can hear it a little better. Now, this is a little difficult to loop because basically it starts off, it's not even like this, a saw wave or like a, that sample, um, that sam the other sample we had. It's not an even sample, and so you can't really, it's going to be a little difficult to find a good area to, you know, if, if you zo zoom in, you can see how, how wildly different the wave changes over the course of time. And so it's kind of difficult to get a good um, set of clips here. Yeah. It sounds like someone's basically hitting it multiple times. And if you have it on ping pong, you get kind of this warbly effect. It's kind of annoying and it doesn't really sound good. Now, the other method of uh, looping that I was mentioning is basically something I found out about um, uh, while using the sampler module and, and using other samples from, from uh, the Sunbox forums and places, um, XI samples. And so basically, they come with their loop sections set, and just looking at it, you can see how, how they did it. And it's interesting. They basically put the loop uh, sections at the end, so you ha still have the beginning uh, of, the, of the sample, and then it goes into the loop, and the loop is basically replaying a very small section of the song in such a rapid manner that it sounds like the same tone as the original um, sample. So it's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just explain it. <laughs> like this. You just drag the, the beginning loop module over to the ending loop module as close as possible until you get the same note uh, a, as the original. So here's, here's here it comes. Something like that. So anyway, that is it for this. Um, okay, I, I got distracted for a second. That's it for this uh, tutorial. Yeah, that that's that. It it works pretty well, and I'm surprised at how well it works. Uh, it sounds a little synthesized-ish, but nothing um, really crazy. <laughs> it, it sounds good enough for for uh, playing notes, you know, playing uh, instruments. So yeah, that that's those are. Oh, <laughs> Those are the two methods of looping samples with uh, the sampler module that I found so far. If you find any others, feel free to tell me in the comments or, or uh, anything like that. If you feel like donating to help fund more uh, tutorials, feel free to do it. If you um, yeah, have a song to post to Sunblock Solstice, which is like a little archive I've, I have going, you know, feel free to, to tell me about your song and show me. And uh, yeah, thank you. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I've been Solar Loon, and uh, yeah, have fun with Sunbox.